Welcome to the first Advent Connections. Can you believe it? There are rumours of angels. Luke chapter 1, reading from verse 5. In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah, who belonged to the priestly division of Abijah. His wife Elizabeth was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were upright in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commandments and regulations blamelessly. But they had no children, because Elizabeth was barren and they were both well on in years. Once, when Zechariah's division was on duty and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priesthood to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And when the time came for burning of incense, all were assembled, worshippers were praying outside. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you are to give him the name John. He will be a joy and a delight to you and many will rejoice because of his birth. For he will be a great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from birth. Many of the people of Israel will he bring back to the Lord their God and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit of the power and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah asked the angel, how can you be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well on in years. But the angel answered, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And Advent and Christmas 2020 is like no other we have experienced before. Perhaps we needed to hear the ones that were spoken to the prophet Zechariah that we find in our reading today. Fear not. An event is a time of preparation and waiting. Under normal circumstances, this could have been a very busy time as people serve the commercial street in church of gifts and other things in preparation for Christmas. Instead, we find ourselves in lockdown. We can't even meet with our friends and families. And we can't meet in church to, fight, to light an Advent candle uh, in preparation for Christmas. We are learning more and more what this new normal means to us as individuals, as families, and even as churches. So the ones spoken to Zachariah are relevant in our lives today as we are being faced by so many kind of fears. 
the backing ground of the ones that we read in Luke 1 verses 13 and the following is that God and Noah appeared to the children of Israel for over 400 years. Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth also were facing their own personal battles. They had suffered an unfulfilled longing to have a child. Although these people were faithful to God, they had endured the pain and the disgrace of being childless. Sometimes we think if we are doing everything right, so things will work out the way we want them to work out. Or even like Jeremiah asked, why do good people suffer? Being childless and, you know, in, in their community was viewed completely different from the way we view it today. Having children then was like the goal of a person's life. Zachariah, as a priest, he found himself that he had to continue his work daily, putting aside his pain. So the daily, of, uh, the daily life of the temple worship and to be carried out uh, as normal. They were anticipating the first advent of Christ and the priest and to carry on with their priestly duties. There were about 24 divisions of priests that rotated in offering services in the temple. And it was Zacharias' division for this service by Lot. And by Lot, Zachariah was chosen to be the one to go in and offer the sacrifice. Sometimes I love the way God seems to work behind the scenes, even when we don't know or understand what is going on. I wonder what was going on in the mind of Zachariah as he entered uh, the, the temple that day, as he had been chosen to, to be the one to go and uh, serve that day. Definitely, Zachariah had to, to put his pain and disappointment aside so that he could be able to serve the others. But it seems that God had not forgotten his uh, pain and as Zachariah went in, putting aside his pain so that he can pick it when he gets out of the temple, God was carrying his pain into the temple alongside him. Zachariah never imagined that this was the day of his encounter. The day that God was going to turn his life upside down. And not only his life, but the, the life of the children of Israel and also of the followers of Christ today. The day that the birth of the, the one who was to be the foreign of Christ was announced. This was a day of divine appointment. Not only was he picked by the Lord, by his division, but this was the day that the angels stood before him with the ones of affirmation. You can understand why the greetings started the way they did, right? He must have been terrified. He had, I don't think he had encountered an angel before. Well, if an angel stands before you in all their glory, you can be terrified too. Do not be afraid. Your answer, your prayers have been answered was the message. Then the angel proceeded to tell him about the child. The fear not part was understandable, but the child part was like, well, are you kidding me? You have not given us a child all these years and now that we are old, you are telling me about this? Why are you coming so late in life? You can understand why Zechariah was behaving like that. Probably I could ask him more, why now? We always don't understand the way God works. Why choose to give this uh, a, a, a couple a child now? 
You know, there are so many things that we are asking in our world today. Why is this happening this way or the other way? Why is this COVID-19 not just disappearing like the President Trump says it will just disappear? Why is it not disappearing? We have been praying and praying and asking God to take it away. Why is there no way forward so that we can close the church again and again? Why are the things going on in the world the way they are going? Some of them not so good. But God in his wisdom chooses that why everything will work out for our good. So he says, fear not. Don't be afraid. Your prayers are being answered. I'm being answered. Although you don't understand everything, don't be afraid. Yes. We don't understand everything, and he knows that. But he gives the word, don't be afraid. Your prayers, whatever you have been praying for, for your family, for your work, for the world, the prayers are reaching before God, fear not. They may not be answered exactly the way you expected them to be, like Zechariah, he never expected that maybe he thought he could be given a child in his 20s and now he is old. This is when he is being given. You may not uh, receive the answer the way you expect it, but he says he will never leave nor forsake you. He understands everything, the pain, the struggle, the doubt, the fear. He says, I am there. In 2 Timothy 1, 7, we get another promise that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. So even in this strange advent, this season that we are on lockdown, even in this strange Christmas, we don't know what is going to happen in this Christmas. We are asked to keep on holding on to our faith. Fear not. He is listening to our prayers. Fear not. He will walk with us through the dark path. He will take our hand. He will take, he understands our pain. He understands our struggles. Fear not. As and as the president of the Methodist Church says, the best of all, God is with us. So may the peace of the Lord continue to hold you now and forevermore. Amen. So let's light our Advent candle. Do not be afraid, the messenger says. This way is strange, unbelievable, hard to navigate, filled with questions, tinged with pain. Do not be afraid, the messenger says. In this time of waiting, the way ahead is so unclear. Do not be afraid, the messenger says. There's light to show the way, good news to fill your days. There's presence in this journey, comfort for your fear. The messengers are a gift from God, heralding hope, angels revealing the divine, the other, beyond and within this here and now. They tell us of the Saviour, a companion to light our way, Jesus, God with us, as we wait, as we journey, today and every day. So, light this candle, offer him your fears. We light this candle, we offer you our fears. God of creation, God of our days. As we journey, we look to your presence, we reach for your promise. Hear the angels singing, do not be afraid. As you wait, look and see, Emmanuel, God is near. Amen.
Oh!